great. And then also this other issue, this other issue of the paradigm. Do you want? Yes. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So wasn't this supposed to release like sometimes in the summer or September? We so had to running ask for a year-long extension. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was wondering, was like, isn't it coming out? Yeah, no, it will be out next summer. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> sure. But it, but again, and the, this this issue of the the paradigm, because I think on Laban Writer they again also separate the LMA symbols as though that's different from you know the effort and shape somehow is not a part of. Lava notation and these other symbols that you're talking about, like the the motif notation, you know, the the curve, the curve path, for example, is certainly all of these symbols can be used in LN scores and in motif notation scores. So we came up with this paradigm that we have this Laban <coughs> movement notation. This was in this, and then we have these two subsets. One subset is the more what some people call structured notation, which is synonymous with lava notation, and the other is motif notation. The difference is which we talked about, but each of these subsets <coughs> use effort and shape and, and the theme, the thematic notation and the the path signs and the you know, they all use so in an LN score, you could have all that thing oh, and an MOT. And I don't know if it matters in the construction or not. Oh no, no. I mean, initially when I when I started talking today, so, I said that we're you know all the Laban systems, you know, all these. So everything that's go. in Laban Writer, which is all of these things. But I think I just you know. I, I have a, kind of an encyclopedic brain, and I, I imagine my brain full of file drawers. And when I needed those symbols, I had to open the file drawer that contained the Yorma book. I mean, I think that's that's really. Absolutely. I don't. I don't mean you know to separate these things, but that's yeah. just where I, found, you know, where I found. How do you really have yeah. that in, in your brain? I do imagine that my brain is a dusty room full of file cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> dusty. <laughs> yeah. When you yeah, that's a whole, that's fat yeah. Because I used to tell my my father. Who's a mathematician? That's more of a spider web. You'd see him <laughs> going like he he'd go like this, you know, mm -hmm. and then even on you know when he was at the very end and almost near death, you'd see him doing this stuff. But he was figuring out math, and sometimes my husband will laugh, and maybe you have the same experience, you know. I'll but be I doing do. this and notate. Yes, I <laughs> notate. I notate. <laughs> so, I so I'm wondering for you, is it you know, <clears throat> opening the? <laughs> It's usually a frantic where to go, where to go, where to go. Back. And you categorize. For you, the categorization is the issue, uh, or is the overwhelm of the. Yeah, I mean, it's just so that I know where to find pieces of information. I, you yeah. know, I mean, I, th I think pretty horizontally across that, but. But still, that's where you first go. Are the categories of things? That's very interesting to me. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, but my brain is not the topic of conversation. Well, but um. it is. It's a very interesting. This whole we had, we could have a whole theory meeting on, to me, on this idea of how we categorize the system. To me, that's real. To me, on top of this, the word ontology mm -hmm. is very important in the way that we develop, which is a good way. No, when we we can be segueing, I should have waited into. The next topic because that's what I think that Zach is about. But anyway, the last question. So yeah. it's gonna be the free app. It will be free. Yeah, okay. yeah. Fabulous. Educational. I can't use. wait for the Android version. That's Very what we were enthusiastic saying. about that. Yeah. Yes. Although I won't be able to use Levin Writer uh, on my computer because it's not a Mac, right? So I'll just have only the the tablet version. I'll do all the work on that. But you know what oh, I've how? done. Zach and you and it's also available for anybody, you know, it's online, it's available. And a lot of students at Limbs do it because I only have a PC. I took all the symbols <coughs> and put them into word into a Word document, turned them into um, turned them into drawings. Not not uh, you know, set into objects, not drawings, objects. 
so now when I go to notate, I can use my symbols, and they're not pictures, they're drawings. So, you know, if I have an arm symbol, I can take the top of it and the bottom of it, and I can stretch it, you know, which you can't do very well in the most recent version of Laban Writer, mm. because they're all, they're pictures, they're not separate. And that's why, so in a way, it's not like Laban Writer, not easy, but I have, still have can you worked use them. at all with Caliban? I was just going to ask that. I haven't because I'm the whole idea. Of, first, you know, the whole idea of spending all that money. Yeah, it's you got to pay for it. It's expensive. Hundreds of dollars that you have to get a program first on your PC. It's hundreds of dollars to be able to do that. That's why I didn't. And now I don't need to for my tea because I brought. It. Anyway, it's a bank of symbols. If you're interested, uh, yeah. are you sharing it? It's online. There's people all over. I keep getting notes. From them. Thank you. Thank you for your symbols. It's on the bulletin. You know, we did it. I'll show you where. Yeah. Send, so. me, send me a link. I'll send you the link. Or write. Better yet, write me. Do you have you have my address, Charlotte Weil oh, at yeah, AOL dot sure. com. You have it, and just send because then I'll remember, and then I can right away send you the link. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So I guess I mean the thing that we're most excited about is you, how, how how one can use this. This is so exciting, Hannah. I'm so yes. glad. That yeah, you know, yeah. It sounds like it's uh, it's going to be really useful. Just the convenient, the idea of being able to transport where you're going in the same way that iPad is useful. Yeah. And yeah. also yeah. useful Great. for new people, right? Mm -hmm. Because exactly. that's one of the big impediments, right? Mm -hmm. Is is that people can't get started. Whereas mm -hmm. something like this. Everyone has a, a, an I, iPad, right, or, or, or <laughs> some think. sort of Not thing, me, yeah, but I <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, you know, once, uh, occasionally I'll get someone really interested in lab notation, and they'll be like, what, what can I, where do I go next? And so that would be where they would go next. Yeah, and, and, and the cool thing, too, is that it's just a different, I mean, th with the resolution that you can get on the iPad, I mean, there's so, there's so much more detail that you can go into in the symbols, and even, I mean, the most recent thing is, um, we're not bound necessarily to the pixels that are part of Laban Writer, so things that's can be a lot talking more that's right. So it's like a vector system? I think it can be more like a vector system. That's one of the things that's that David is negotiating cool. right now. But um, So in other words, what I was talking about, because in the old version... When you do the yeah. high, high <laughs> slash, and then she said get pixelated, uh -huh. so yeah. it's not yeah. a line. That's or a shame. Or when yeah. You, yeah, I mean, in the old version, you could take, take it, and you could chain, I mean, if you wanted, oh God, am, am I, I mean, each one of these in Lava Rider, these things were separate things. So now if I want to, if I want to do, you know, if I wanted to stretch this or, you know, stretch it or, well, you or maybe stretch it though. Well, for the motif, to, yeah, you want to stretch and make it bigger. Different things that really? I would want to yeah. play oh, with bigger. the look yeah. of yeah, it, yeah, make know, it bigger. For, to say for my book or smaller, whatever. You, in the new version, certain of the symbols you can't, excuse me, you can't do that. And I don't know, I'm not a software person. So anyway, to be continued, mm -hmm. and, and you'll talk more about it in past. So this, exciting. It is. Yes. It's And it's much, Yay. the thing is, and then, and then we're going to say, wait, the thing is that when you just make the announcement, oh, we're going to do this an iPad, and then I say, oh, you know, all right, you know, it's just, but there's so much more to it now, and I'm oh, hearing yeah. that it's not, it's, it, the medium is the message. Exactly. Thing. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, question, question. Yeah. So currently, how the, how the score actually, because the Laban writer tend to um, kind of crashed, when you have too many pages, so the oh. how Mira does is maybe she transcribes like ten pages as save as a file, and mm -hmm. then another mm -hmm. ten pages save save as a file. Mm -hmm. So it's not really a continuous, a long file of a score. Then when it comes to reading a score, you, you kind of it's not really a chapter, but then yeah, that's a really good point. We actually haven't because David is still figuring out how to scroll through. Mm. So we actually haven't had that experience yet. And all of the tests that I have are less than 10 pages. Mm. So that's actually really So you better great. think about it. It's really important. You can get some, yeah. some samples if you have scores that definitely crash. You can 
send them along. It's not no because it's that they tend to it's have a s shorter pages as a yeah. one file. Yeah, actually, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I don't have an answer, but hopefully yeah. I will. Yeah. It, I, I hear I am going to be making a suggestion to use up somebody's time, but but what I mean is, <laughs> I hope this is kosher to do, but. Have you had a chance to consult with Mira? I'm saying I'm, 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 I'm making, I'm suggesting that Mira spend time doing this, and I don't know. But Mira is really the, the expert. Lob on writer. Lob on writer. Yeah. Lob on writer in the world because that's she what she it does all for of years the, and years and years. She's and done nothing but that. Transcribe yeah. all sorts of everything. Yeah. So yeah. she yeah. would yeah. be, I would think, a person to go to. Great. Great and again, I mean, I don't know what her time Absolutely. is like and stuff. Well, right now she's not going to be at the meeting today because she's in she's, she's, or she's, or she's rehearsal. notating um, a work. Graham work, work. Yeah. Yeah. right now. Okay. So and they only rehearse on Friday. With Sandra. But you can um, yeah. always Sandra's write to her. Yeah, 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 that's great. Um, yeah. Sandra Make sure that yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But if you want to know the pluses and minuses and the problems and the issues of Lava Writer, she's the go to person. And she ha she has been working with David, yeah. you know, in terms yeah. of the Bach and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just, just give me a big smile. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you. For That's yeah. wonderful. See, I told you, yeah. you wrote and you said there's no end. We could continue with. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like oh, detail more detail. Want to know more? More, more. more. <laughs> I can the spider webs of ideas that this is giving in my mind too. Anyway, so now, but we're going to switch gears because Zach was talking earlier about, I don't know, uh, Zach is... It's not really centric on the secret turn sign. Okay. It's, but I'll, I'll just sort of summarize. I think I know what you're asking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. So, I'm writing a text explaining how to use lab annotation. And I'm trying to have it answer the problems that I encountered uh, trying to learn because uh, I encountered a lot of problems and I think it's sort of generally agreed that there are some problems with the existing literature, but one of which, which sort of uh, identifies this sort of foundational division that I'm using, is the distinction between gesture and locomotion, right? So there's different ways of talking about this, like uh, talking about movement that you arrive at or movement that you're leaving from or you know, directions in that sort of frame. But it all boils down to gesture ver versus locomotion. And uh, when you're describing gesture, you're using symbols in a completely different way than when you're describing locomotion. If, if you have a, a direction symbol, it just means something else, you know? And, and the whole concept of place is just different, you know? And, so, yeah, and when you learn lab notation for the first time, you start off learning steps, right? You start off with locomotion, right. and then you, uh, after you learn how to do simple steps, then you learn how to do like a simple arm gesture. And all of a sudden, there's a completely different version of lab notation that you're learning. And you just naturally have no idea what's going on. And this was my experience. and. Uh, and there's all this effort right at that moment by the teacher who doesn't know why you're so confused to explain what place means. And you're like, but I thought place was here. No, place is there. And you know, there's this, this weird sort of schism. And the, I realized that the problem with the way lab notation is taught now is that it's taught the way dance is taught, right? It's taught as if you're learning dance. So what do you do first in dance? You step, right? You walk across the room. Uh, and, and I think that's the mistake right there. When, you're lear when you learn stepping and locomotion in lab annotation, what you're learning is essentially there's all these different contexts in which the symbols just have different meanings. Like if you're stepping from an open position to a, an open position or to a closed position. Uh, all of these, the, the way that you express those ideas is very particular. And you have to have the pins in a certain way, and you have to have the symbols. They mean a certain way thing, and you interpret them differently. And what that amounts to is 
that the thing you're learning, like if you're learning stepping from open position to open position, that thing you've just learned is completely useless for understanding any other aspect of lab notation. All you've learned at that moment is just how to notate that form of stepping. And then you learn the next form of stepping, which is also completely useless for anything other than just notating that form of stepping. You're not learning any general principles, except in the vaguest sense that the forward symbol means forward, or something like that, you know. But it's, it's very vaguely expressed. And so, basically, a lot of locomotion is just inherent in lab notation. A lot of locomotion is just one special case after another. And in, uh, in gesture, it's not that way. In gesture, there are definitely, I mean, you're, you're not going to find a clean part of lab notation. But gesture, there's, if you learn directional gesture, if you learn, you know, some gesture forward, uh, that's something you can use with your arms, with your legs, with your head, with any limb, you know, and not, not to mention, you know, facing gestures, right? It's all uh, usable, reusable for anything else you want to express. So for that reason, in my text, I want to distinguish very clearly between locomotion and gesture, and I want to describe gesture first. Right? So it's completely backwards from the way that lab notation is traditionally explained. But the value of it is that when I explain something, like how to do a particular gesture, uh, using my approach, you immediately not only know how to go like this, but you know how to go like this, you know, you know how to do all these other things, and you can create very complicated gestures right away. And. Uh, so I want to explain gesture first, but the problem is that if you try to explain gesture first, you're just immediately screwed. Because what does gesture rely on? It relies on where front is, right? If you're talking about direction symbols, which are central to lab notation. I mean, you just can't get around talking about direction symbols right away if you're teaching lab notation. So uh, what you find is that in order to explain direction symbols, you have to be able to explain where front is, and where back is, and where the sides and up are. And that means you have to talk about the crosses of axes, right? Because you don't just want to forget about the cross of axes. They're going to have to come in at some point. And when, as soon as they do, they're going to modify everything you've learned about direction gesture. And so instead of waiting for that inevitable confusion, I start explain these sort of prerequisites first, right? In order to, to begin to explain direction gesture, I have to start by making sure that crosses of axes, front symbols are explained as well. Without front symbols, you don't know where front is. That's where the, a lot of the crosses of axes take front from the most recent front symbol. So, it, and then if you're trying to learn about the front symbols, right, which you in my system is a prerequisite for learning the direction symbols, right? If you want to learn about the front symbols, how does front get changed? By locomotion, mm -hmm. right? So if you want to explain direction gesture through this little route here, you find you have to explain locomotion first. Just, okay, multiple questions. I heard, saw your hand first. I, what I'm curious about is when you differentiate between this green one looks good. Between gesture and locomotion, the difference between symbols that are written here and symbols that are written out here, say, okay, mm -hmm. is not, as I see it, that this is about locomotion. Locomotion, as far as I'm concerned, means going, ch changing, tra means Transferring. traveling, changing where you are in space, as opposed to staying in one place. The difference between this and this is that this is, these are weight-bearing movements. Okay? So, because th we, these are our Movements in which my body as a whole is taking weight, and these are movements. It's the difference. In I mean, which I, I think this is a terminology, terminology question. Yeah, your right? terminology was, um, what was it? Trans uh, locomotion, locomotion and but gesture. It should, 
what what there's a book on called, there's a book called posture gesture posture referring to either locomotion or the full body or what, what you're referring to as locomotion, but it isn't really locomotion, it can be stillness also. So, okay. but, so what you're talking Wait. about is this, co what is put in this column as one set of rules. And what is put, and then what Everywhere are, else. Right. What is and put everywhere else. And everywhere else have other sets set of, rules. of rules. Mm -hmm. and, and I do think if you use the word locomotion, it, it that itself in it itself, its own, it, not only in everyday parlance, but in lo, in in LN or any parlance, it, it it's deceptive. This you're is not okay. putting the idea some of it. Well, okay, you're I, 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 I understand what, what you're, you're saying. To. I'll I'll think it over. So you had yeah. something to say? Yeah, mm -hmm. I actually think that that this is really interesting because it seems yeah. like, from what I'm hearing, is that you're shifting the focus from weight to space. Um, and this idea of, I mean, you know, the element, you know, the, the, the elementary study guide, one, two, three, right? You learn how to move through space, you learn how to hold weight, and then initially, when you first learn about gestures, it's that the arm gestures have no weight because they're here, right? Unless you're upside exactly. down, which you don't learn until much later. Um, you know, or when you talk about leg gestures, we have the step gesture rule, which means that in, or, you know, in the notation you have to be aware of where the weight is. And what you're talking about is really interesting because you're, you're bringing movement to be defined by space first and weight second. But then you went back to it. Well, okay, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm gonna come to that, but I, I wanna let you finish your uh, point. So that's just really interesting to me, and I, and I think it also might open a way to define movement um, outside of a Eurocentric base. Um, interesting. Because this, I mean, the, and the gesture that you made too, movement comes from here. Initially, I went to oh, polycentrism. Oh, you know, this is this is a, it's a different kind of movement initiation right. um, than the system was necessarily generated for in the first place. So I wonder if sort of decentering um, the the what is place, right? Because this is not place for all dance forms. Are yep. you leaving? I mean, even that Polynesian form, there is much more of this, right? So right, so right. this idea of moving from space first. Has a has the potential of decentering where where weight automatically quote unquote yes is. yes and right? we think we tend to exactly very interesting so I think that's a really interesting way of going about it I'm, I'm I am curious too about this idea of of locomotion versus weight and and how using the existing symbols uh, these things can diverge I'd be curious to talk to you probably okay. longer well, than see, we have time the notation but does in motif notation. The difference, the, the, first of all, it kind of has a different paradigm, and that is that you're talking about the main elements of movement, and and at least as I see it, that you have. Let's say you have the idea of a turn, right? Or th that you're going to go in a direction. For that, the basic symbol doesn't say anything about whether it's weight bearing or non weight. The basic right. symbol that's says right. to you, do something that's you have forward. Do something that's about forwardness. You know, put your do a gesture forward. Do a gesture forward. Take a step forward. This is a bad example because Anne and I dis disagree with this. Let's talk about turning. Basic idea of turning. You can turn with gestures. You can turn while you're being weight bearing. You know, and so the basic symbol, the basic symbol. I'm gonna of this symbol doesn't tell you anything about which column it's in. Mm -hmm. Now. I want to differentiate. How do I differentiate in different ways? But one is to say now I'm going to tell you it's about gesturing. It's about moving body part. You know, doing a non-weight bearing, a non-weight bearing turn. The head turns, the arm turns, the legs turn. Or I'm going to differentiate and say that it's weight bearing, and what what it ends up being is that the my whole body turns. We really differentiate between whole body movement and gesture, as opposed to a different paradigm that you're talking about is weight bearing and gesture. And and I think that you really are right. Two things, uh, Doris Green, who is this oh, yeah. African, 
Well, Doris came. We had a number of sessions with her. And all these notators, expert notators, you were there, Zach. Mm -hmm. And she's saying, yes, but you know, you keep... She demonstrated and tried to get us to... She says, this is normal. This is not... She says, I'm not going to... You know, there were all this kind of stuff that came out and how our notary... And then the other thing was that I remember at some meeting, Sandra saying, you know, it must be when you're teaching notation, the first thing you go to is supports. And we said, no, but what if, you know, at least I did, what if you talk from another point of view? Yeah. You know, don't be, just, no, 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 it must be. So doing something like what, I'm repeating what you're saying, Zach is saying, maybe pulls us out of this thing of the way we see is the way everybody sees or the way it must be because we tend to start doing that well yeah the way i've been thinking of it has has not been um to change the way people conceive of of dance right or or of movement but uh just to look at the structure of lab notation just as it is right here is this thing that's been invented and we're we're sort of stuck with its nature and I've just found that, that its nature is very uh, circular and, and self-connecting, right? Like you, you just, you try and explain one part of it and you can't. You have to drag in all these other elements right. and, and, and you, you just can't explain a single topic, you know? You, you can explain a little bit of a single topic but as soon as you start getting anywhere more into the topic, you you have to drag in, you know, pins and 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 other other elements. And so my whole purpose is to identify the what what I would call the elementary parts right. of lab notation. Elementary in terms of lab notation itself, not in terms of dance, right? In terms of dance, elementary is stepping. In terms of my view, in terms of lab notation. Stepping is not elementary. Stepping has all kinds of special cases. All kinds of different symbols oh, are involved. So much special cases is contextual. Yeah, Eileen makes the same point, but I don't distinguish between that. She objects to the use of the term uh, special case because uh, she feels that it implies a reasonless special case, that there's mm -hmm. just no reason at all. It's completely random. That's not what I mean by that, but it's really though- It's contextually based. It's, con it's there's multiple contexts involved in in stepping, and that's an advanced thing. It's just it's it just is you know. It doesn't matter that that moving from a closed position to an open position is elementary in dance. In lab notation, the fact is, it's described in an advanced manner. It just uses advanced notation me mechanisms to do that, and we're just stuck with it because that's what lab notation is, and. So when I'm, what, what I'm trying to do is to say those things belong at the end of the text. Those advanced things, like adding pins and stuff to the stepping, uh, to the direction symbols for stepping, that's all something that's more advanced than just using the direction symbols for stepping. Except that the pins and everything are in the same gestural work as in the stepping work. The stepping work, that the, the big, complexity is gravity. You're doing these things not because um, the context that you've added is gravity, basically. The laws of gravity. The laws of gravity in terms of dance, that's what you've no, added. No, no, In terms of walking, in terms of anything. Okay, but I mean in terms of movement, gravity is the, is the element. But in terms of the notation system, you've, you, there's a, a Virtually a completely different type of notation system used for for gravity-related things than for gesture. I, I so, see, for example, I, I if I'm gesturing and I say, "Move your hand to place."